Wayne back at you again with another exercise. So here is both the treble clef and the bass clef staff, spaces and lines, and it's exercise D E O E O Y R Y Y Y N Y Y. Or again, I will send it to you. Uh, I'm clicking on it right now. It takes me to the internet. Starts up our ever faithful game. Okay, and wherever we were at last time, it knows that we did 15 and a minute 35. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel all this, reset the score. You can see in that window there, there was actually a progress report. Okay, so here we go. The spaces are face. You can do that same game here. Face, Aska, 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 face, face. Okay, it's how fast can they identify the clef and the sign. Okay, next, as we know that this is face, F is the first space, A, A up one, down here, A up one. They can actually use the visual guide, show your students that, okay? So they don't have to think of the alphabet in their head. Click it, B, we got it right. We just got 100%. This is the top space. Next trick, parents, we know it's F-A-C-E. Can they start memorizing E as the last letter of face? So here's an E. The highest one is always going to be E on the treble clef staff. A. E, up one, or E plus one, E, F. Okay, A, up one, or C, down one. A, up one is B, C, down one is B. E, up one, F. So everything comes back to identifying the spaces first. The E space, this is an A space, the first clef of our bass clef. A down one. G, how convenient. A, treble clef. Face E, treble clef. Face F down one. E. G, top space. Aska, that was a good one to memorize coming backwards. Bottom space, F. Middle line, A, C, up one. Okay, it's going to be a D. G. This is a good one to mention also, as this looks like the letter G, it was done on purpose. The G circles around line number two, and line number two is always a G in the G clef. That's why the treble clef is also called the G clef. So this G should be a good one to actually memorize eventually. Okay. C up one. D. Uh, C up one, D. This one is a good one to memorize. This is called the F clef. This big dot at the beginning denotes this line, line number four, one, two, three, four. And this is always an F, always in the bass clef. So here's another pivotal note that would be great to memorize instead of having to count up or down to it, F. F up one, G, or Aska, G. E. Face is the last letter as E. Back to our favorite F. Okay, and it's been keeping track of our score here. Again, 20 is the one that I would like to try to go for. 20 correct. Doesn't matter if it takes you 20 attempts or it takes you 100 attempts. It gets you started. Uh, you can always reset the score down here. You can also, oh, you can reveal the answer. It'll tell you what it is by clicking that button. New question just jumps to the next available note that's around. You can always go up here to the information. You can remember the score for the next time you play. You can hide the timer, show the timer. You can get a progress report, which is going to show how many of them you skipped, how many you got wrong, how many you got right, and then we, as well as we can reset the score. Okay. Uh, this is how you change all the information in these exercises. Uh, Okay, actually, not on this one. Okay, cool. Um, don't worry, I've already got this set up for you. So use and have fun with it. Uh, if you can do this every day, that would be fantastic. You can do this from an iPad. It's free. You can do it probably from your iPhone. They do make an app. I do not know whether my uh, extensions, my... Uh, the application I'm getting the links that I'm giving you will actually take you on with an iPad uh, or excuse me with the uh, the iPad or the iPhone application okay but uh, this is a freeware site it's lovely